These are the special elections, known outside the Philippines and the United States as by-elections, to the Congress of the Philippines. The Philippines holds two types of special elections, those that were supposed to be held on election day but were delayed, and those held after an office has become vacant. This article describes the second type. Scheduling as stipulated in Republic Act RA No. 6645 approved on December 28, 1987, once a vacancy occurs in the Senate at least 18 months, or in the House of Representatives at least one year, before the next scheduled election, the Commission on Elections, upon receipt of a resolution from the chamber where the vacancy occurred, shall schedule a special election. The special election will then be held not earlier than 45 days and not later than 90 days from the date of the resolution. However, Republic Act No. 7166 approved on November 26, 1991, amended parts of R.A. No. 6645. When a vacancy in the House of Representatives occurs before one year before the expiration of the term, the special election shall be held not earlier than 60 days and not later than 90 days after occurrence of the vacancy. For the Senate, if the vacancy occurs one year before the expiration of the term, the special election shall be held on the day of the next succeeding regular election, with the past of Republic Act No. 8295 in 1997. If there is only one candidate running for the position, that candidate would be proclaimed as the winner, and an election would no longer be held. This is unlike in regularly scheduled elections where voting would still be held, and the candidate has to get one vote in order to be elected. Not all vacancies that occurred a year before the next regular election resulted in a special election. To save money, the Speaker appoints a caretaker representative from a nearby district. In same cases a caretaker representative was appointed while an election date was considered. As with general elections, special elections are usually scheduled on a Monday. In some cases, election days are declared as holidays. House of Representatives Since the 1998 elections, there have been two types of elected representatives, those who represent single-member districts and those elected via the party list system. When a vacancy occurs for a party list representative, the next ranked nominee from the party replaces his predecessor. For district representatives, a special election will be held to determine who shall succeed the predecessor. During the Third Philippine Republic, where representatives had four-year terms, the special election was held together with the mid-term election. A special election will not be held if the vacancy occurred less than a year before the next regularly scheduled election. Statistics By reason the most common reason for the vacancies which were filled by special elections since 1907 is resignation, a total of 27 instances, both from leaving office to assume another position, 20, and for other reasons, 7. Death of the incumbent representative is the second most common, accounting for more than two-fifths of instances. Other reasons for holding special elections were to fill new seats created upon the establishment of new provinces four instances, and to fill the seats vacated after, a winning candidate was disqualified post-election, two, a representative was expelled from the legislature, one, or a representative was dropped from the rolls over criminal conviction, one. By legislative era. Most of the special elections, 33, or more than half of the 61 conducted as of 2017, were held before the Second World War 1907 to 1941. In the space of 27 years after the war and before Ferdinand Marcos disbanded Congress and assumed dictatorial powers in 1972, a total of 18 special elections were held. In contrast, since the restoration of Congress in 1987 only 10 special elections have been held in the space of 30 years. Lack of special elections In accordance with current laws, the decision to call a special election to fill permanent vacancies is not mandatory, and is solely at the discretion of Congress, which has received criticism for not quickly acting to fill such vacancies. Despite many vacancies occurring well before a year from the end of a congressional term, Congress has left many such seats unfilled. 
In more extreme examples some even remained vacant for two years or more. Eighth Congress ended June 1992. Albay III became vacant in July 1988. Bulacan IV, November 1989. Cagayan III, April 1989. Catanduanas, November 1987. Davao City III, October 1987. Lanao del Sur II, December 1989. Masbate III, March 1989. Quezon II, April 1990. 10th Congress, ended June 1998. Guimaras, December 1995. Sorsogon I, April 1996. 14th Congress, ended June 2010. Vaseline, November 2007. Misamis Oriental 1st, June 2008 Mountain Province, February 2008 17th Congress, ending June 2019 Vaseline, November 2016 Batanes, October 2017 Las Piñas, August 2016 Mountain Province, June 2017 Sulu 1, June 2016. Senate From 1917 to 1934, senators are elected via senatorial districts, a vacancy mid-term will be filled up by a special election. Starting from 1941, senators elected at large nationwide, have six-year terms, with senators elected via staggered elections. Every two years, eight out of the 24 senators were elected from 1940 to 1972, and 12 out of 24 senators every three years since 1987. In cases where a senator left office before the expiration of his term, a special election on the day of the next regularly scheduled Senate election was held to fill up the vacancy, as long as the seat per se won't be contested on that election day. There had been three cases where that happened. Statistics Leaving office to assume another position is the most common reason to trigger a Senate special election, in fact, out of four such instances, three involve the assumption of the vice presidency. 1951 in 1949, Senator Fernando López, who was on his second year of service in the Senate, was elected vice president of the Philippines. To fill the vacancy, a special election was held separately with senators whose terms ended in that year. 1955 In 1953, Senator Carlos P. Garcia, who was on his second year of service in the Senate, was elected Vice President of the Philippines. To fill the vacancy, a special election was held separately with senators whose terms ended in that year. 2001. In 2001, Vice President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo succeeded Joseph Estrada after the 2001 EDSA revolution, leaving the office of the Vice President vacant. Arroyo appointed Teofisto Guingona, who was serving his second year as Senator, as Vice President later that year but prior to the 2001 Senate election. The Commission on Elections ruled that instead of 12, the electorate will vote for 13 Senators, with the 13th placed candidate serving Guingona unexpired term of three years. In purposes of term limits, that senator would be deemed to have served a full six-year term. Carat 1 guest candidate Squared 18,000 votes deducted from Ralph G. Recto from Zamboanga del Norte as per resolution no. NBC 01003 Cubed elected to serve the unexpired term until June 2004 of Teofisto Guingona Jr., who was appointed vice president on February 2001. Former Senator Arturo Tolentino and others sued the Commission on Elections Comelec, to set aside the proclamation of the 13 senators in 2001. In Tolentino v. Comelec, the Supreme Court ruled that the Commission did not comply with the requirements of RA 6645, nor did the Commission. 
give formal notice that it would proclaim as winner the senatorial candidate receiving the 13th highest number of votes in the special election. However, the court ruled that while the commission failed to give notice of the time of the special election, it did not negate the calling of such election. Indispensable to the election's validity. Since R.A. 6645 is amended. Charges the voters with knowledge of this statutory notice and COMELEC's failure to give the additional notice did not negate the calling of such special election, much less invalidate it. The court dismissed the petition for lack of merit and allowed the result of the election to stand. The 13th Senator there had been four instances in the Fifth Republic where a seat was vacated exactly midway through the senator's term due to election to another office. In all cases, the 13th placed senator in the immediately preceding election was not given the former's seat since the vacancy occurred after the election. In 1998, Senator Gloria Macapagal Arroyo was elected vice president midway through her term, Arroyo. S seat would be up for the 2001 election and no special elections were held, nor was the 13th placed candidate during the 1998 Senate election, Roberto Pagdanganan, proclaimed winner. Later that year, Marcelo Fernan died in office, leaving two vacant seats in the Senate. Fernan's seat would also be up in 2001. In 2004, Senator Noli de Castro was elected vice president midway through his term. De Castro's seat would be up for the 2007 election and no special election was held, nor was the 13th placed candidate during the 2004 Senate election, Robert Barbers, proclaimed winner. In 2007, Senator Alfredo Lim was elected mayor of Manila midway through his term. Lim's seat would be up for the 2010 election and no special election was held, nor was the 13th placed candidate during the 2007 Senate election Aquilino Pimentel III, proclaimed winner. On August 15, 2011, Pimentel assumed the seat of Juan Miguel Zabiri after allegations of electoral fraud. In 2010, Senator Benigno Aquino III was elected president midway through his term. Aquino's seat would be up for the 2013 election and no special election was held, nor was the 13th placed candidate during the 2010 Senate election, Riza Hontiveros Barakel, proclaimed winner. In all of those cases, the 13th placed candidate was not given the vacant seat as the voters elected for only 12 senators. Note that this won't be a problem for senators elected prior to 1971, as long as they are elected to a new position prior to the second Senate election of their terms. There were two elections for the Senate for senators at that time. For senators elected since 1987, their seats will be vacant since there will be no intervening Senate elections from the day they gave up their seat up to the expiration of their term. References External links Online roster of Philippine legislators, House of Representatives Commission on Elections Special Elections webpage